everything is turning around for me This is my testimony My testimony Jesus, you have turned my life around. All right, ladies. So, you know why you're here today. But the topic that we're discussing today is what do you do if you find yourself um, in a situation where a guy is certain that you are the one. That, you know, he's prayed on it. He <laughs> saw after God's faith and he wow. knows, like, you're the one. And he has everything you desire in a husband. Like, mm -hmm. everything. Like, all the things you're praying for, mm -hmm. he has it but you're just not attracted to him, like in any, compa <laughs> in any capacity, <laughs> yes. what do you do? Um, so wait, I uh -huh. think that means you, you're really not seeing everything you desire in a guy. If mm -hmm. everything, then his ugliness should be part of his it. Ugly. Yeah. <laughs> no way. If you don't oh, see no. him attractive, it, yeah. if you're saying mm -hmm. attractive, what are we talking about? Right. Physical. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. in that sense, I would say, it's not everything you desire. If he's everything you desire in a guy, mm -hmm. then come on. What you're seeing should be also part of what you desire in a guy. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, like they say, beauty or physical attraction, it grows. I think it grows. Yeah. Like yeah. if you're buying a house, you can change that house. But when you're buying it, there might be a whole lot in the house. You can take some out and bring some in. I don't mean doing plastic surgery. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, with time, you know, get to know the person. If, if truly what you're saying is you see all that you desire in a guy you're seeing in him, then his attractiveness shouldn't be a big deal. That's what I think. So I want to ask, are we speaking from a biblical perspective, like as Christians, right? You're asking this question that as a Christian woman or as a Christian guy, what if um, you, you meet somebody that has all the godly characteristics that you want, but the person is not physically attractive or right. that you're not physically attracted to them, then what do you do? Right. Um, hmm. I feel like, you know, speaking as believers, I feel like the most important thing is for us to always go back to the word of God. And I want to say... Um, that physical attraction is important. When we can't deny that, we can't say that right. we're just gonna throw physical attraction away and just be all holy, holy, and you know what I'm saying? No, physical attraction is important. Mm -hmm. But in the grand scheme of things, um, if we're speaking in regards to marriage, in the grand scheme of things, mm -hmm. physical attraction is not what's going to keep your marriage. Right. Right. Um, it's not, you know? Yes. And if we are going to the, like a, going according to the word of God, um, in the book of 2 Corinthians, Paul says that we should what? Not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. That is a standard as believers that, um, by making sure that the person that we're trying to be yoked with, one is a believer, mm -hmm. one is firm in their walk with the Lord. Like you don't have any question like whether or not this person believes that Jesus Christ is our Lord and personal savior and it's only through him that we have eternal life. And so that is the main thing. Um, I've heard so many couples say that, you know, I wasn't attracted to my husband. I wasn't attracted to my wife at first. She was not my type. I didn't, you know, I didn't yeah. like her at first. But then once I got to know them and I saw what they carry, how we have the same purpose, how we have the same vision, the attraction began to grow. And I've experienced that in my life too. Like, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, so I think um, physical attraction is important, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not what keeps a relationship or marriage together. I agree. I agree with both of you. I agree with Emma and with Doreen. Um, like, so one thing that my mom always says, she always says like, like you said, attraction is important because you have to wake up to that person every day. Like you literally are going to turn your head and be, either be like, wow, I love you or <laughs> wow. yeah, this, this yeah. is what I married. Yeah. Um, and like you said, it does grow, but it also fades. Beauty mm -hmm. fades. So right. I may meet someone today or he may meet me today. And he's like, oh, wow, you're so beautiful. After I have my five kids, right. my body's not going to be the same. No. Um, my face is not going to, my neck, nothing's going to be exactly the same as, as when we met. Um, so like, Yes, it's important. It's very important. Yes, it's very important, but it's also not. I think, like, um, I forgot who said it. I don't know if it was Edna or Doreen. Um, that, like, once you see everything else, like, all the qualities, like you said, they're a man of God. They're a man after God's heart. They love your children. They, they love children. You don't have children yet, but they love children. You know, things that you want, think qualities, I think you'll actually see them as someone that's attractive. Mm -hmm. At least that's how it is for me. I personally, of course, there there's some people that's like, ooh, tall, dark, and handsome, or whatever, but I'm not really a, 
ooh, you're so cute, I want to marry you. Mm-hmm. Or, ooh, you're so cute, I want to be in a relationship with you. I think I used to be like that in high school, but as I got older, um, I started to see, like, most of the guys that look the best Girl. usually don't have it together. <laughs> and, and that's even for the same for girls. I think now mm-hmm. it's becoming, like, I don't know, norm for, like, Christian girls to look good. Because at first, Christian girls were dry, like, to me. <laughs> and when I wasn't saved, I thought everyone was just so dry. Yeah, like, right. all they did was go to church and just, like, wear long dresses. No one wore makeup. But now it's like, you know, we're popping. So, yeah. like, and I think it's the same for guys. Like, guys are coming up or whatever. And even, like, if you're not attracted to them physically, I think, like, for me, it's like a swag thing. Yeah. Like, if you can dress and you can carry yourself in a certain way, I think even if your face isn't, like, the best, um... Then I think it'll be fine. Like, I mean, there are some things that I'm just like, I don't think like bad breath, but that's not physical. <laughs> so it's like there are some little things I'm you just like, you can fix though. Like, yeah, there's right. You can that's fix, you can fix bad breath. You can, you can make you can him what teeth. you want him to. Yeah, be. you can fix teeth. You can fix if they can't dress. Take them shopping. Like you can fix them up, especially as a woman. We have a lot of power. So yeah. 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 No, I definitely agree with that. Like honestly, attraction is very important. I was I was in a situation like that, mm-hmm. um, where I was not attracted to the guy, but he had everything. Like mm-hmm. you know, he was ready to get married and all this other stuff. And I was like, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But <laughs> but honestly, like I really feel as though if you are called to a man, mm-hmm. th- like there will there will be something about that man that only you will be attracted you to. Mm-hmm. Like you cannot. You know what I'm saying? Like the, you will date someone and it's like oh you know like he's just a regular kind of guy but if this is who god has you know called you to be tethered to Amen. like you know like you're gonna see past yeah. the i can't dress so oh his face is not this or you know what i'm saying and i really feel like um like you said a marriage is not built on looks mm. you know it's not built because you'll get older and things will start to sag and things will start to yeah. wrinkle and all that stuff but it's that um it's that oneness that you guys have you know i really feel like it's the character of a man that makes him attractive yeah yes his face is, is you know is important his outer looks or whatever like i will not be outside with you know just, <laughs> but <laughs> i really feel like there has to be something though like mm-hmm. that makes you want to stay with that guy yeah. and definitely his walk with god his character um and the way he carries himself mm-hmm. i think i love like i love to see a man that's like dominant in like a godly way mm-hmm. you know who mm-hmm. knows who he is in christ who knows you know his what his intentions are for you yeah you know so it kind of just makes everything else kind of like fade away it's like yeah. it's not really as important like you know we could fix the teeth we can fix the this we can mm-hmm. fix that not to say you're not good as you are but i really feel like the purpose that we're together is greater than my flesh right. and my flesh wants to be with a guy that we look good together in pictures mm-hmm. you know everybody wants hey now we have to do filters so. and, <laughs> you know <laughs> we're we're use the filters exactly. yeah so i just really i really feel like it's something that um that can be looked over yeah, uh, yeah. to a to a degree to a degree it can be looked over. i was just thinking about how like um like what the purpose of marriage is so like like this question i i love this question i was thinking about it literally like all day um what the purpose of relationship is or what the purpose of marriage as believers, right? Once again, we're speaking from the point of Christians. And like one time, like um, one of my friends who was married, like he told me something and it was, it blessed me so much. He was like, Doreen, the purpose of marriage is not to make you happy. It's to make you godly. It's to make you to be like Christ. Christ is like being united, like with the church or with the bride. And when he said that, it really stood out to me because like you said, I was in a position as well where, um, I had my list of things that I wanted. You know, I wrote down, I told the Lord, I said, God, this is what I wanted, right? And God literally brought a guy in my life that had all the godly qualities. He was humble. He was a leader. He was a servant. He was, man, he was everything except for the fact that he, like, I wasn't physically attracted to him. And that relationship humbled me so much because he taught me more than any other guy that I've ever dated. He was so, like, he prayed with me. He prayed for me. Um, He knew the word of God. So we always share the word of God together. And it humbled me so much because I was like, wow, Doreen, like, like, this is a guy that you're not physically attracted to, but what he carries, his character, has made you to become a better person, has made you to become more like Christ, mm-hmm. made me more patient, made me more caring. Like, but because of, like, he literally made me more like Christ, mm-hmm. you know? So, um, I think we have to also think that when it comes to marriage, the purpose is not just so, like you said, mm-hmm. I just take nice pictures. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, now today with the rise of social media, um, we have kind of adulterated the purpose of relationships and marriage. So yeah. people think that, you know, I just, like want to have a nice wedding so I can be on Bella Naija, I do Ghana. <laughs> but then as Christians, we have to look at the grand scheme of things. The purpose of marriage is to make, like the purpose of your partner, your partner should be sharp, um, sharpening you and to make you more like Christ. And physical attributes, as important as it is, can't, can't necessarily make you more like Christ. It's his character, his godly character. That's what um, helps with that. So 
yeah, like, I think we really have to evaluate it based on the stance of, you know, our, our, our faith, you know. So. so that brings me to my next question. Um, you kind of touched on it a bit, but do you guys feel like in today's society that we have over romanticized <laughs> marriage? Um, just going off what you said, um, you know, about the purpose of marriage and uh, how today it's more, you know, it's not to make you happy, but to make you more Christ-like. Uh, looking at it from that point, I mean, looking at it from, like, your worldview today of how you see relationships, do you feel like it's just been over-romanticized? Yeah, I think, like, especially with YouTube couples, oh, yeah. um, even the ones that are saved, and of course, I don't know them personally, so it's hard for me to speak on what they do in their personal right. life. Um, I pray that they're fulfilling purpose, too. Yeah. I think, like, just, like, because we see them on YouTube, or we see them on Instagram, or whatever it is, that it's just, like, oh, like, almost like a hopeless romantic type yeah. of thing. Um, and like you said, it's, mar- the purpose of marriage is to fulfill purpose. Um, there's cer- I believe that there's certain things that Tolu cannot do until she marries the mm-hmm. bone of her bone or mm-hmm. the flesh of her flesh um so i think like when we're thinking about it even me i'm guilty like sometimes i'm just like oh i just can't wait yeah. till like we take like vacations <laughs> oh, yeah, or like definitely. we take pictures yeah. and things like that but then when you get down to the root of things it's like wait like i have this generational curse in my mm. life i have this thing that i haven't dealt with or he has this thing that he hasn't dealt with in that generational curse and it's like what do i want even when you know the bible says be fruitful and multiply so when we have kids what are we what are they going to come out to, you know? Mm -hmm. So we kind of have to think about, because I think that's kind of like a physical thing too, like just like over, from what's it called? Over romantic. Yeah, that. (laughs) Oh, doing that. Um, That's kind of almost like a physical thing too, although it's not like necessarily looks. It's kind of just, it's vain. Mm -hmm. It's very vain. And like I said, it is, it will be great to argue with my husband and be like, man, I can't even be mad at you. You look so good. (laughs) But like, at the same time, it's like, I want to be like, man, I can't even be mad at you. You're a man of God. Or whatever. I can't be mad at you because of the way you you dealt with this This, situation. Or I can't be mad at you because of the way you love our children. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, I I think in this society we do, especially because of relationship goals. We Mm -hmm. see Beyonce and Jay-Z and we look up to them. For some reason, I don't know why. But we do. Like, yeah, they look bomb in pictures and they're a power couple, but we don't really know what goes on in their home. I mean, we, I mean, we even, we've seen scandals. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So like even with YouTube couples, we don't necessarily know. They say they're letting us into everything that they do, but there's no way. Like we don't know what you guys are arguing about at home. Mm -hmm. We don't know what you guys dealt with before. So it's very important to be very, very prayerful. Even after you've met that person that you're, you're going to marry. Um, like if you're in a relationship now or you're married, it's still important to continuously, continuously be praying for that person, for your relationship and for yourself. Like you should just never stop. Amen. Yeah. I think also to like like in the church they there's so much preparing women to be wives yeah. and it just creates this okay this is the pinnacle of my faith mm-hmm. i'm married i'm engaged uh, i've got it yeah, you yeah. know and it's just like i've reached that point now and it's kind of like okay when you get there now god what mm-hmm. you know like okay now we have kids okay now what wow. you yeah. know so you, you then you become stagnant mm-hmm. you know then you'll see then you're gonna be like oh my gosh well god i thought this was gonna fulfill me but it really isn't. So then now you're looking back like, wow, did I go into this thing with the wrong intention? Wow. That's so, real. so it's just like, even with me, like I've seen like so many YouTube couples, Instagram couples, like literally the other day I was on Instagram and I'm just like, man, like they look so happy and they're Christian and they, they're they both, you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, I can't wait to be married and I just can't wait to da 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 And then God had to like really check me. He's like, why do you want to get married? Mm-hmm. Like, what are, you, what are you, like I created um, Eve to help Adam do something. Mm-hmm. But uh, but Eve, Eve had her own strength. She yeah. had, she had her own so um, abilities that she could. You know, no one really thinks about. It. They thought thought about okay, well, Eve is coming to help Adam, but mm. she has to be able to be helpful. There, she has right. to be full of something that is to a man. We are the favor of God to mm. to a man. Mm. We are the grace to a man. 